In this episode, we're going to customize a 59 Cadillac. Collections. Classics. Customs. Restorations. This is Crossroads Speed Shop. Hey, welcome back to the Crossroads Diecast Speed Shop. I'm Skip, and today we're waiting for the guys to bring our next project into the shop. And here they are. Uh, this is a 59 Cadillac that we're going to use for our April 2024 Diecast International Builders uh, Build Anything 50s uh, build. So let's get this thing off the truck and take it apart. Okay, well, we've got our little custom 1959 Cadillac into the shop. We've got to take it apart. It's up on the lift there. Um, again, the um, 59 Cadillac is going to be used for my uh, Diecast International Builders April 2024 anything 50s built. You know, when I think of 50s, what do I think of? I think of fins. I think of fins. You got the 57 Chevys, and of course, you got the Cadillacs. And this has the fins. And I think it looks really great. It's going to be great when it comes out. It's been play worn. It's been uh, played with really well and stuff. But it, we're going to give it a new paint job and clean it up a little bit. And it'll it'll look fine when it gets when it gets done. It gets out of the paint booth. Uh, that this 59 Cadillac is actually uh, this version uh, came out in 2002 and went till I believe like 2011. And um, this is a 2002 casting, so this is the first year of this as well. Uh, but like I say, it's, it's been play worn, and uh, it definitely needs a little crossroad diecast speed shop love. And uh, when, uh, because I said it was played with really well, there's a lot of dirt and dust inside the interior. We'll clean that up, and uh, but that's going to go great with with kind of the theme I'm thinking of. Uh, and then of course the interior it's it's a little it's a little dirty and stuff i mean excuse me about the interior the glass is a little bit dirty but we'll clean that up as well and uh dip it in the uh, pledge revive and we'll get that thing shining a lot better than it is uh base skin play worn it's, you, it's just kind of you can just see around it um and uh, it's got a little bit of detail there so we might do something with that i think i'm gonna give it a dip in the in the uh, super clean to strip off that old chrome and we'll give it some new chrome in it as well and then of course we have the Hot Wheels gold uh, lace wheels uh, really kind of good because I think this car was kind of made out to be a, a low rider uh, but we're going to do something different. I got some nice wheels from Sam Ed Wheels that I'm going to use on this. I think it will look really good uh, and uh, give it that 50s vibe. So anyways let's move on with our project. All right well we're looking at our 59 Chevy Cadillac and um, again, it had these uh, gold lace wire wheels uh, on there from Hot Wheels, but I chose not to use those. I almost hate to show you the ones I want to use because I really like them. I think they're going to look really good on there. And uh, I've already fit the first ones on there. There's some uh, uh, white wall wheels, tires from uh, Sam Ed wheels. And one of the things I had to do, because uh, when, when you get to a lot of these wheels from Sam Ed wheels, the axles are a little bit longer, and they're made so you can fit into a bunch of different cars and stuff. And these, this one, as you can see, has a very narrow, narrow base when it comes to uh, the axles. And so sometimes what you have to do is you have to uh, use some clippers and clip it down uh, to size. And then I usually use uh, some of these fence pliers, and I just and pinch, the, and pinch in there and pinch the ends down. And uh, I already did that on this one, uh, as you can see. And I'll see if I can show you how it's flattened out a little bit more right there. You can see how it's flattened out and spread out a little bit. So that when the wheels come, the wheels don't slide off. It holds them right in there. And so then you can just go and you can snap them right in. Again, sometimes you have to use a little bit of a uh, screwdriver to uh, pry those prongs out a little bit. But I just wanted to see what it would look like and, and just make sure that the fitment on the wheels are going to look well once I get this all put together. Um, so let's see what we can do here in this. Up the windshield's a little bit all the way. Here we go. So there we go. And I'm, I'm getting to like this. I like this. This white wall tire is on there and the, you can see and uh, I like the, that type of wheel that's on there as well. 
So when we get this all done, it's going to look good, I think. So let's get on with our project. Later. All right. Well, we're back, and we have our little 59 Caddy already. Uh, I've, pay, I've primed it, and I got the base coat of white onto the car. I'm going to do a two-tone. Uh, when I was thinking about this car, uh, I said, ooh, this 50, 50s car. And I, I, have, I, just, I had gotten this paint from Createx. Uh, it's a pearl turquoise. And I'd gotten this some time back. I have never had a chance to use it because it was in one of those things where you buy several different types of paint. And I bought that, and I never got a chance to use it. And I said, "Boy, that would be a perfect. This would be a perfect car to use that that color on." So I did that. And when I mix up the paints and stuff again, I use one of these little medicine uh, cups, uh, and then I I pour in the paint, and then I add I add I, I've been having some good. Some people use the forty thirty. Uh, balance and clear and that works pretty good um i also uh have used that especially you know and it works great or it works okay with the uh with these type of water-based paints like that when you use a candy paint uh the um it, this really this really comes into uh good, a good use and stuff Anyways, so I've been using this. I, I think it was Austin over on Diecast Resurrection that, years ago that had said something about that and used that. I said, wow, that was, sounds like a great idea. And then the other thing I also do is I usually add, I take one of these pipettes and I uh, put about four of those in and mix those in. And I use this 4011 reducer. It kind of uh, thins out the uh, paint a little bit so it goes through the airbrush with a 0.5 needle uh, really well. And uh, so that... That looks really good. So we got we got the paint all stirred up. We got it all ready. We'll usually let it sit. For, I've been letting it sit here. It's been sitting for about ten minutes. That's about what I like to at least let it sit before I put it into the um, uh, into the spray gun. Another thing I wanted to tell you is I'm taping off. Have you ever tape off a car and you and you're doing the you're doing the um, like a roof or whatever, especially the roof. One of the things I've also done is I, I tape. Let's see if I can show you this. So you can see that I tape inside as well. And the reason I do that is because sometimes when you're spraying and you're using the, the especially the airbrush, but you can it'll happen with this if you use a rattle can. As you're spraying, it can go up inside and it can sometimes get in inside the uh, the car and then and run into some other problems, uh, things that you don't want to get covered on the inside. And then you have to take some time to uh, either clear it or end up throwing the whole thing back in the stripper because paints run on the inside and then it runs out onto the uh, onto your car. So just to be just another way of protecting it, take a few pieces of tape on the inside and tape the inside up first before you tape the outside and then uh, tape the outside up. Um, and uh, that way it'll kind of keep from getting any overspray going into other areas. That's another little hint. Let's move on. Well, I got the car painted nicely with the turquoise pearl and then I went on to the clear coat. Uh, as I went to put on a third coat of 2K Clear, I got uh, a speck in the clear coat, and I didn't really want to do it over again, so I left it overnight to dry, and then I wet sanded it with 800 grit, then 1500 grit, and then a 200 grit sandpaper, and then I clear coated that with another coat, and it came out looking great. All right, we got all the pieces ready for our 59 Cadillac. Um, again, I'm really happy with how this came out. I took and I stripped all the old chrome off the base and then uh, repainted it uh, with a satin black uh, from a rattle can and then I chromed the uh, the rear end as well the rear end as well as the, the front end of course those little caddies had a lot of chrome on them and stuff so I wanted to do that um, again I didn't have to detail this because on if you ever look at the old Cadillacs they have more of a silver white I, I was surprised I thought the these would be the uh, the taillights, but they're not. They're actually, the, I think, a backup light or something that goes on it. And it's the taillights are on the fins of the car. Um, got nice white walls. Kind of thought, you know, white walls. Kind of a low rider stance it has. And it just had that white wall type thing. And then uh, added the, uh, those, uh, I'm not sure what kind of wheels those are. But I thought they just looked kind of good because they had kind of a low rider type of a feel. Uh, the base, I mean, excuse me, interior. I painted that uh, using the same turquoise just to kind of do the inserts and stuff and around the steering wheel just to give it a little bit different color. Uh, cleaned up the, the windshield. Again, that came out pretty good. It, that was kind of scratched up and stuff, but I uh, cleaned it up 
and then I gave it a dip in the Pledge Revive. And again, the body, I'm really happy with how this came out. And um, so got that together, detailed the uh, the rear taillights. And uh, so I'm really excited about this. So let's get this thing put together. And here's my fully restored and customized 59 Cadillac. It's my entry into the Diecast International Builders April 2024 Any Car from the 50s Invitational. I painted it with opaque white and turquoise pearl from Createx. And then I clear coated it with two coats of 2K Clear from Diecast Graveyard. The windshield and the interior were pretty dirty, so I cleaned them up with hot soap and water. And then I gave the windshield a dip in the Pledge Revive, and I detailed the seat cushions in the interior with more of the turquoise paint. I stripped the base, painted it black, and then I chromed the front and rear ends. The wheels are white wall wheels from Sam Ed Wheels. This car was pretty beat up when we started, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I want to thank the Diecast International Builders, Ron, Mark, Caleb, and Cole, for hosting this Invitational. I'm looking forward to checking out what other Diecast customizers build and to see the recap video later this month. And I want to thank each of you who watch and subscribe to my channel. God bless, and thanks for stopping by the shop.